What about women? We've seen that elders are men. What about deacons? And basically there's, there's, there's two schools of thought on this one. Are de- are, are, can women be deacons? There's two schools of thought. One says yes, and the other says no. So, so here's the deal. And, and this is about 12, 12.30 is where I like to throw out something controversial, usually at Secret Church. So uh, hopefully you won't remember. But this is... Uh, this is where I, I, there are obviously a lot of different views all across this room, I think, on that. Well, there's two different views separated all across this room. Um, and, and there are Bible-believing scholars and pastors that I respect greatly that, that are on both, both sides of this picture. And some of you might be thinking, well, look at First Timothy 3. Like, it's, it's pretty easy. Like, it says deacons must be dignified. Not double-tongued, etc. And then it says in 11, their wives likewise must be dignified. Not slanders, but sober-minded, faithful in all things. But each deacon be the husband of one wife. So some say, well, that just, that, it's that easy. I, I don't think it's necessarily that easy here. Four things I want you to, to think about that, that point to what I think is a possibility that, that, yes, yes, women can be deacons in the church. Now I want you to follow with me here. Number one, consider the translation. When you get to verse 11 there, and you'll, you'll probably have a note, it's not here, but in your Bible you'd have a note that's in you at the bottom that says the there there is, the there there, their wives there is, is it not in some manuscripts. And the picture is many people, many Bible scholars believe that this is just talking about women. And there's ambiguity there. Consider the transition here. Paul transitions at that point in the same way that he transitioned when he went from elders to deacons, then to this third picture of what some would say deaconesses. Consider the elders' wives. Like, why did he not say anything about elders' wives? Especially when had an elder had more responsibility in the home and more leadership responsibility in the church in a sense. He said nothing about elders' wives. And then consider what I call the Phoebe factor. Um, Romans chapter 16, verse 1. I commend to you our sister Phoebe, a servant of the church at uh, Kincray. And the word there for servant is deaconos. Diakonos, which would, which would seem to point to a deaconal role. Now, here's the deal. What I think is important, because there are all kinds of different pictures of church structure represented around this room. And there are churches represented in this room that, if I could be honest, deacons basically serve as elders. And deacons are, are more of an overseeing body. If that's the case in a church, then I would not say then women should be deacons. Because that, I mean, they're basically serving as elders in an overall role. But... When it comes to, okay, somebody leading out in a hospitality ministry, somebody leading out in a variety of different ministries, and you look in the New Testament, you see 17 different women that Paul mentions that are in significant leadership positions in the church, doing different things in the church, serving in different ways in the church. I think the reality is, if we have a proper understanding of elders and deacons and where they, where they fit, I think, I think it makes total sense that, it, that it's certainly possible.